lossless scaling, bro? At work, bro? Hell yeah! A banana bread! Hell yeah! The Steam Deck community is so goaded, dude. We just got lossless scaling, and even better, it's easy to install. You don't need to know how to do a bunch of code to install it. We'll get into the technicals in a minute, but long story short, it allows you to double your frame rate with very little negatives. And even better, it's compatible with most games. The memes are true, boys. We are quite literally downloading more performance. The biggest upside to lossless scaling is that it has a much wider compatibility compared to other frame gen mods because it doesn't have to modify any game files. Basically, the game doesn't know or need to support lossless scaling in order for lossless scaling to work. Huge shout out to Jason Derulo, Deck Wizard, Pancake, and I'm sure there were more people than that. Y'all make the Steam Deck community so much fun to be a part of. I'll walk you through how to get lossless scaling working in this video. The process is pretty simple. There are three main steps. Step one, we're going to get a game on the Steam store called Lossless Scaling. Step two, we're going to install Decky, which allows us to use plugins. And then step three, we'll install the Lossless Scaling game that we got from the Steam store to Decky as a plugin. And thank God we only have three steps because I am out of fingers. Oh, oh, and then at the end, I'll show you my preferred settings that have been working best for me. Sorry about the voice, y'all. I am sick, but I couldn't wait to record this video. So step number one, we have to go buy lossless scaling from the Steam store. That is easy to do. We're just going to go to, you can hit the Steam menu, go to the store. And if you type up here, you're going to type in lossless. If you just type loss, it'll pop up lossless scaling. And it's this one. Now I already own it, so I can't buy it again, but it does cost $7. But in my opinion, it is more than worth it. I'll show you the results in this video so you can decide for yourself. And just for transparency's sake, I have no affiliation with this company or with deck wizard or Jason Derulo or any of that. I am just a fan of the steam deck. And I think this is awesome for the steam deck community. A tip here though, is make sure you install lossless scaling on the steam decks internal drive it won't work if you install it on an SD card. It's a tiny file though, so it should be no problem, but just make sure you in install it on the internal drive. Once you have this installed on the internal drive, we're just going to make sure that our Steam Deck is up to date and using the latest software. So if you go to, if you hit the Steam menu, go to settings, then in system, we will go check for updates, hit check for updates. If there's an update, run it. If it says it's up to date, then we are good to go. All right, now step two, we are going to install Decky. This will allow us to use plugins. And how we're going to install Decky is we're going to hit the Steam button, then we're going to go to power and then switch to desktop and that'll get us into the Linux desktop view. And once you're in desktop, what you're going to do is go to Firefox or some sort of browser. It doesn't matter what browser you have. Chrome works great. And all we're going to do is type in and the shortcut to pull up a keyboard is if you do Steam and X at the same time, you'll pull up a keyboard and we're going to do Decky Loader. So we'll pull up Decky Loader and it's going to be this top one, which is the GitHub um, and it's Steam Deck Homebrew Decky Loader. And this is the plugin that we're going to get. So once you're here, you're gonna scroll down until you find the download button. And here's download, you'll just click download and it's going to go into your downloads folder. Uh, if you have Chrome, it might look a little different, but it'll be the same thing. Click the folder icon, we can minimize our browser, and this is the file right here. This is the Decky installer. And what you're going to wanna do is move it onto your desktop. So I'm just going to go like this and do click and drag and move it onto my desktop. And I'll say move here. And then I can close out of this file browser. I don't need it anymore. Now I can double click to start the install. It says, do you want to install Decky? Continue. And if you have a password on your Steam Deck, it'll ask for your admin password right here. If you don't, it's not going to ask you this. So don't worry about it if it doesn't ask you. All right, once you enter your password, uh, it's going to ask you this question and I would do update to the latest release. That's recommended. That's what it'll default to and I would recommend doing that. Now it's going to download that update and install and it should be pretty quick. All right, so that's done. So now we can go back into gaming mode just right here. Turn to gaming mode. Now that we have lossless scaling and Decky, we're going to head to GitHub and get some software that will allow us to run lossless scaling through Decky. So I'll leave the link down below to the GitHub, but in order to find it, we are going to go to desktop mode. You can hit the Steam button, then go to power, then switch to desktop. 
once we're in desktop mode you can go ahead and go to a browser firefox chrome doesn't matter whatever browser you like and in the search bar we will enter oh if you press x that is the keyboard shortcut to open a keyboard we will type in github lossless scaling i'll leave it linked down below but it's this top one jason derulo decky lossless scaling bk so go ahead and click on that and now what we're going to do oh pro tip on the steam deck uh you can scroll on web pages by it's like an old ipod if you remember those so it's clockwise and counterclockwise to go up and down so we will scroll down and we will get the latest release over here on the right so we will click that we will download this asset which is lossless scaling zip so we'll click on that it's going to go up here in our downloads and perfect now it's up here in our downloads now we are going to go back to gaming mode in gaming mode we're going to hit these three dots and then we will go to decky this is the plugin down at the bottom and hit the cog up at the top and in general we are going to scroll down to the bottom and we make sure that developer mode is toggled on i have it toggled on but if you don't have it toggled on you will not see this developer option so toggle it on and then we're going to go on this left side to developer and then in developer we're going to do install plugin from zip file so we will browse for that file and now we're just going to look for the uh, lossless frame gen that we downloaded it will be in our downloads folder if you put it there lossless scaling zip that is what the file is called so you will click on that one and it says are you sure you want to install it install and that's it it takes two seconds now that we've installed lossless scaling we can go into lossless scaling right here and right here it says uh, it is not installed so we can hit this and install it says lsfg-vk has been installed successfully awesome and that is it we are we are almost home free we're almost good to go so there's one last step uh, there's one last step which is in any game that you want to use lossless scaling you have to enter this command line to make it accessible to the game and go ahead and go to the game and then you can hit just hit the cog here and then go to properties and under properties we're going to go to the right in general and go to launch options I'll leave it down in the description but it's squiggly line forward slash L S F G space percent command percent just like that and that is it you can then drop the keyboard we can go back and we can launch the game okay so now we're in and you can tell that the lossless frame gen is working because we are getting 80 fps here i'm gonna rest to get the enemies back and where we were getting you know generally high 30s mid 40s we are now getting double that at you know around 80 um so let's let's go merc them well it's just i just want to see what the frame rate is at once we actually start fighting oh you have a horn don't like that Where's my, uh, there we go. Oh, wrong. So it's, you know, it's staying in above 60 FPS. It's staying generally in the 70s, which is crazy. So yeah, it works on Elden Ring quite well. Um, as you can see, oh, you bastard. Dennis is a bastard man. So yeah, yeah, we're killing it. So it works in Elden Ring just great. We are getting an awesome frame rate. I don't notice any... I'm not noticing any input lag. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it feels... I'm not noticing any input lag whatsoever. Let's try it in Split Fiction. Wow. 
Okay. We're getting 100 FPS right now. That is nutty. Um, because in this section... Before, I was getting more like 50 or 40. Anyway, look at that, 100 FPS, 110, that's so cool, that is so cool to see, and we're using the same wattage as before, um, yeah, so it works great on Split Fiction, we're getting 30 FPS, pretty much exactly 30 FPS. And look at that, exact same save, exact same settings, exact same every, everything, and where we were getting 30, we are now getting 60. Are you shooting at me? Chill, dude. Cool. All right, let's go over my recommended settings real quick. First, you gotta have LSFG on, obvi. Then, for the FPS multiplier, I'd recommend doing 2x. If you do 3x or 4x, it's going to be increasing the amount of generated frames between the real frames. Having it on 4x is going to give you the most input lag, and I think 2x is going to be the best almost all the time. For flow scale, that's the resolution that the generated frame is being rendered at. I read in the logs that between 70 and 100% is best. The lower the number, the better the performance you'll get because you are upscaling more. I found 85% to be a good sweet spot. And then last, turn on performance mode. You can try toggling it on and off. I found that having performance mode on really reduces input lag, but your mileage may vary. And that is it. That is all I would recommend changing in settings. All right, very cool. Well, that's lossless scaling frame gen on the Steam Deck. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to get everybody. And if you've been testing games, let me know how it goes in the comment section below because we're just gonna have to test a bunch of games I can't test all of them it'd be awesome if we as a community come together and we can see how games are running generally so far I've just tested a few games and they have all worked flawlessly I haven't actually had any problems I have had them crash on startup a couple times but then when I try and start up again it just works so uh, that you know that happens and it might not even be lossless frame gen it might just be something else who knows um anyway let me know how your experience is in the comment section below i am pumped about this and i'll see you all in the next one peace